cancer-causing mineral so dangerous it can make people sick just by moving it. And families in Davidson say they've been living on it for generations. This mill used to produce asbestos back in the 30s when no one knew how dangerous it was. Now, decades later, that asbestos is still there and it's spread. I want to show you a look at the Davidson Depot property from above. It is surrounded by homes. Now tonight, Channel 9's Anthony Costura spoke to families who are now living with devastating health problems. I was born and raised in Davidson. Across the street from Joanne Stewart's family home is a patch of forbidden land because of a toxic chemical underground. Um, it was last year when they came in and did letters and talked with the people here in Davidson to let us know that it was asbestos on our property. The problem stems from the former Carolina asbestos plant just up the street from Stewart, which created asbestos fabric, tiles, and shingles. The Metrolina warehouse behind me here was actually an asbestos factory from the 1930s to the 1960s. And at the time, people who lived here didn't know the health impacts asbestos could cause. We used to play in it, and when we come back, we were covered with white dust that was asbestos. When an old cap on the asbestos pile leaked underground in 2017, several agencies got involved, including the Department of Environmental Quality and Waste Management. But the asbestos is not contained to just the old factory site. And they dumped it everywhere. For that concern, I got asbestos in my backyard. I got asbestos in my front yard. Back then, there were limited regulations on how to discard waste properly, and neighbor Evelyn McCarr struggled with lung and respiratory issues ever since. I take breathing medicine for mine. Right now, the old factory site is home to a few businesses because tests show there's no asbestos on the inside. However, they follow strict rules outside to make sure they don't stir up the chemical by not parking in certain areas or even walking on the grass. Several developers also proposed projects on the site, but none have succeeded because of the building's history. Stewart believes it's a problem that won't go away. In my mind, asbestos is going to be here till I die. In Davidson, Anthony Costura, Eyewitness News. Now, when asbestos is moved, even slightly, it can be released into the air and inhaled. The tiny asbestos fibers can get stuck in the lungs. Exposure can increase your risk for lung cancer and mesothelioma, which is another rare form of cancer. Asbestos can also cause other lung diseases.